Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. We are out on the lake that probably made me a fisherman. This is where I grew up fishing. Grandparents had a cabin out here. And I haven't been here for years in open water. There are fish usually, you know, nothing too huge, but there's lots of action. And I just took eight casts. The first cast, I didn't catch anything. The next six casts, I caught a pike. And the seventh cast, I caught a walleye. So I'd say that's pretty amazing fishing. <laughs> Stay tuned. Let's see if I can extend, how long I can extend this casting streak going. This will be the, the eighth cast right now. I'm just using a jig, a VMC jig head, and a, this is a Havoc minnow. As you see, the pike already bit the tail off, but it's still working. So I'll keep working it, see how many more I can catch in this jig. Oh, oh I had a bite. Eighth cast, had a bite. Let's see if he connects. I got him. I got him. Eight, eight fish in a row. Eight fish in a row right here. <laughs> That's great fishing. It's another walleye. Another walleye. Eight fish in a row. That's six jack two walleye. There we go. I'm not joking. We're catching fish out here like crazy. He's catching fish like crazy. Dad hasn't caught one. Oh, there we got one. Dad's got one. We hooked up. Why do you use the walleye? Yeah? Yeah, it's a walleye. I got one. Oh, yeah, he got off. Got a nice little walleye here. And that's it. Eight fish in a row, I guess. Was it? Let's start over. Oops, I got one. I didn't even move it. I just casted it out, but it sucked to the sink to the bottom, and bam, fish on. <laughs> well, I skipped one cast. And I'm back counting again. So I missed the ninth fish with next cast. Got the ninth fish. Further in pike. They're a pretty small pike in this lake, but lots of fun. There we go, that's about the size of the pike and smaller. Oh, I got one. Now I'm not dead. I'm not using I'm not using one that my daddy might. I'm using a different one. I'm going to cut a walleye. Another fish hooked up. Which one did you know? Oh, man. Oh, man. What an amateur. Don't show them how not to hook a jig. Don't show them. Don't hook your jig like this that. This is not how not to hook a jig. Okay? That's how not to do it. I'll show you how it's done, okay? There, like that. There. What's wrong with that? Look. This is how you hook a plastic on. Okay. See that? Head, tail, straight. That's how you want it. Not all curved up. When you're putting it on, place the plastic beside the hook and see where the curve starts. Put your finger there and then thread the hook into about that point and pop it out. And then you'll have your jig all lined up like that. Details matter. I had a guy tell me that details and high quality gear doesn't matter. It matters. Pay attention to detail, you'll catch more fish. Where are they? Oh, I got one. I got one. Yeah, they like the ones with your tail. Oh, this doesn't have a tail. It's oh, a straight tail. I switched. Oh, is this one here? Another pike. What do you mean? I don't know. No, that's the one. Has the tail broken off? I believe it's white. Well, probably better than this. I don't think so. Pike. I got one. Oh, came off. Oh, got him again. Oh, came off again. See, when the fish mess your bait up like that, straighten it out before you cast out again. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah. Another pike. There are millions of little pike in here. You want to have a blast to just... I got one. Gotta try this out. Double hook up. Oh yeah, this is like Dad's on. I'm on. My hook's gone. Need to tie a gap again. Oh, that's a monster, Dad. There he goes. Oh, I got one. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Is that wiggling 
Techniques to get yourself some walleye when the water is nice and clear and the bottom is nice and clean. This is how you catch them first up the jig. It's always a go to almost year round. You can catch them on a jig, any type of jig head. I'll get this guy back in the water and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, what I'm talking about is just any sort of jig head, right? Plain jig head. I put on a plastic. This is a white with sparkle double tail jig. And uh, since the bottoms are clean in the spring, it's a great technique to use other uh, use these are the swim bait plastics like I showed you before and uh, you just drag it hop it along the bottom give it a rest on the bottom hop it a foot or two off the bottom let it flutter down to the bottom they love it it's deadly in the spring give it a try oh no it also makes that really nice sound in your reel yeah, but that's with the braided line Look at this monster jack. That's about a 12 pounder right there. <laughs> if you hold them close enough to the screen, they look bigger. Oh, yeah. Look how you inhaled that. Oh yeah. 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 They, they commit these little guys. Look at this jack. I tell you, they're sure long skinny pike here. You have to bomb the fish, not the bomb. You like the bomb? Come on. <laughs> like the fish are so easy to catch here. Oh, look at that. I just cast it. I let it fall. Fish on. Okay, two in a row. I gotta do my streak again here. See how many I can catch in a row. Let's get them in fast. We'll do a speed challenge here. Oh, put them in the boat. That's two. Let's see how fast I can catch as many or ten fish. How long it takes me to catch ten fish? Oh, there we go. Whoa, it's like pulling hard. Oh, oh, it came off. That one doesn't count. That was three, but it came off. I got one. Oh, oh, wow, this one's going drag. Ah. Oh. Better fish. Fish number three, if I can get him in. Oh yeah. There he comes. Up the surface and drag him in. Speed challenge. Oh, come on. Number three. because I uh, number five fish is a walleye because the camera battery I mean not the camera battery the card got full oh I got one did I give you water yet? number six fish I didn't give you water? oh I think this is a walleye name another walleye number six fish is another walleye this is that jig method I was telling you about I'm just we're out on a flat now it's about 18 feet of water and these walleye are hugging the bottom. This is a nice walleye. Nice one. Nice fat one. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost went in. <laughs> Not as long as the other one, but you're just hopping that jig along the bottom. Give him a chance to eat it. By hopping it, I mean land it on the bottom, let it sit there, jig it up, and then it falls back to the bottom. That's what you want. That little hopping action, they really like it. There we go, got another one. It's Jack. This is number seven fish, I think it's my walleye. Yeah, he's not staying down. No, what is it? Another walleye. Another walleye. <laughs> another one. Tell you they're loving that double tail yellow jig. Nice and simple, no bait, no scent, just all action, and that's triggering the bite today. What was that, number seven? Three walleye in a row. Okay, good, thanks. That's good. Okay, I think I got a point. 
fahren wir hoch, Typ. Okay. Ja, okay. Ähm, uh, hier, I'll just gonna make up another line. must be my 40th pike by now. Just one after another. See when you're using jig and plastics with pike, they usually tear up the jig so I just bite off a chunk of the top of the plastic each time and it gets shorter and shorter but then it actually will stay on your jig. Eventually you know you get a little bit of life out of that plastic before you have to switch to a new one. Number two method today, fishing for walleye in the spring. A good method is a little drop shot, uh, weight on the bottom, you know, eight to 12 inches of line up, and then you put a jig on there. Just use a small jig with a small piece of bait and when they're finicky they'll really go after that. See look to that, just a small jig, piece of leech and catching a pretty nice walleye. That's uh, about a 21 inch walleye right there. Okay. Well, we'll go, yeah. 